Hello all, welcome to this channel CFD Baba. We are going to start our new ANSYS playlist where I will be uploading 10 more ANSYS videos. If you haven't checked out my first playlist yet, you can watch it right now to understand all the simulations starting from basic to intermediate level. Today we are going to simulate filling of a water bottle by using water as a fluid. We are going to use multi-phase model with volume of fluid method. So let's start with the simulation. Open your workbench window. You can open this window by going to the search tab and typing in workbench. Open the workbench app. Next, I will drag in the fluid flow fluent. We will create the geometry inside design modeler. Right click on geometry and select new design modeler geometry. We will create a 2D sketch of a water bottle in XY plane. Select the XY plane and click on Z axis to set the view perpendicular to it. Click on the new sketch button. Select sketch 1 and go in the sketching tab. I will change my units to millimeters. Let's draw a rectangle first. Let's give it symmetric constraints. Go to constraints and click symmetry. Select the symmetry axis and the two edges. Right click and select new symmetry axis for the x axis and then these two edges. Now our sketch is symmetric about x and y axis. We can give dimensions to the sketch. Select dimensions and give the dimensions to these two sides. I will enter the height of the water bottle as 300 mm that is 30 centimeters and the width of the bottle will be 100 mm that is 10 centimeters. Now we need to create an opening for our bottle. To create the opening I will draw a line starting from the top edge. Draw one horizontal line and again one vertical line. We will give symmetric constraint to the opening as well. Select the y-axis and these two edges and give them the symmetry constraint. Now we will give dimensions to the opening. We want our opening to be 20 mm. We will give the height of the opening as 25 mm. Now we need to trim out this edge. So we'll go to modify, select the trim option and trim out these two edges so that we have a complete fluid domain of our water bottle. Now I will apply fillets to all the four edges of our water bottle. Select the fillet option and enter the radius as 10 mm. Select these two edges to apply fillet between them. Do the same for all four edges. Give fillet to the bottom edges of our water bottle. Now we have the sketch of water bottle ready. We need to create surface from this sketch in order to simulate a 2D simulation. Go to modeling, go to concept and select surface from sketches. Select sketch 1, click on apply. Select the operation as add frozen, click on generate. Now you can see we have the surface of our water bottle. Select the surface body and change its type to fluid because we are going to simulate for the fluid domain. Now our sketch is ready. You can close design modeler. Now we will mesh our geometry. Right click on mesh, click on edit. Once the geometry is imported, we can create the sketch. I want 10 divisions at the inlet edge. That's why I will give element size of 2 mm because the length of this edge you can see here is 20 mm. Right click on mesh, click on generate. Our mesh has been generated and you can see that we have exactly 10 divisions on our inlet edge. Now we will give named selection to all the boundaries. Select the edge selection filter. Select the inlet edge. 
press N button and name it as inlet. Press enter. Now we need to specify ambient edges so that when water gets filled inside the bottle, the air inside the bottle can escape. So I will select these two edges, press N and name it as ambient. This will be the outlet for our air inside the bottle. Click on OK. Next, I will select all the other edges which we will name as walls. Make sure you have selected all the edges, press N button and name them as walls. Click on OK. And now we need to give name to our fluid domain. Select the face selection filter, select the face, press N and name it as fluid. Click on OK. Check all the named selections. The top edge is inlet. These two edges are ambient. These are all the walls of our bottle. And this is the entire fluid domain. Our meshing has been completed. You can check the number of elements in the statistics. Right click on mesh, click on update so that the mesh is successfully translated to the fluent. You can now close the meshing software. Right click on setup, click on edit. I will use double precision for more accuracy and I will select the number of processes as 4. This means that I will be using 4 cores from my computer to simulate this simulation. Once the mesh has been imported, you can close this dialog box. We are going to simulate transient simulation, so select the time as transient. We need to give the gravity for the fluid to understand in which direction it should flow naturally. The gravity will be acting in the negative y direction. I will enter value of minus 9.81. Now I will double click on models. Here we are going to use the k-epsilon turbulence model. I will select k-epsilon realizable and scalable wall functions. Click on OK. Now we need to specify our materials. There are two phases, air and water. Double click on materials. You can see we already have air by default. Click on create edit and we will import the water fluid. Click on fluent database. Now scroll down to the end and you will find the water liquid. Select it, click on copy, click on close and again click on close. Now we have water as well as air which we can assign in the multi-phase properties. Go to models and select the multi-phase model. Here we will be using the volume of fluid method. This method is useful to track the interface between two different phases. So we will have the boundaries between the air and the water clearly visible after the simulation. I will use the implicit body force and click on apply. Make sure that the number of phases have been set to 2. Now we will assign the primary and secondary phase. Click on the phases. Here we can assign the phases. Make sure that you are assigning air as the secondary phase. Secondary phase is the phase with which you want to initialize your solution. So initially the entire bottle will be filled with air and later on the primary phase that is water will enter into the bottle through inlet. Select the secondary phase as air and name it as air. Select the primary phase and use water for primary phase and name it as water. Click on apply. Next go to the phase interaction tab. Here we will specify the surface tension coefficient. Select constant value and enter the value as 0.072, which is the standard value. Click on apply. We will enable the surface tension force modeling as well. Click on it and click on apply. Click on close. Now we have set up our multi-phase and turbulence model. Always remember that in the phases, 
the primary phase will be assigned with the value of 0 and the secondary phase will be assigned with the value of 1 when we assign them in the boundary conditions. So 0 means water and 1 means air. Go to the boundary conditions. Here I will select the inlet. I will use the type as velocity inlet. Click on edit. I will enter the value of velocity as 0.5 meters per second. Click on apply. Now we only want water to enter through the inlet. So make sure that the phase air has been set to zero volume fraction. That means only water can enter through the inlet. Click on close. And we will apply the pressure outlet boundary condition for the ambient boundary. Select the type as pressure outlet. Make sure that the phase for air at pressure outlet has been set to volume fraction of 1. That means if backflow appears on this boundary of the pressure outlet then only air is allowed to come back into the fluid domain. Click on apply. Click on close. We have set up all the boundary conditions. Now we will set up the methods for simulation. We will use the PISO scheme which is good for setting up multi-phase volume of fluid simulations. Now we will initialize our solution. Double click on initialization. We will use standard initialization. Select the value of turbulent kinetic energy and turbulent dissipation rate as 0. And we will enter value of air volume fraction as 1. This means that the whole domain will be filled with air at initial boundary condition that is at time is equal to 0. Click on initialize. Now we will run our calculation. Before that we will set up a contour so that we can view how the solution is proceeding while it is running. Double click on calculation activities. Here double click on solution animations. We will use storage type in memory and we want to record after every two time steps. Now we need to specify where do we want to record the animation. So we will select new object and here we will create a contour. We want to create a contour of phases. We will select the phase as water. Click on save display. Now you can see that the entire fluid domain is filled with water which is the blue color. And at time is equal to zero, you can see that at inlet, the value of volume fraction is one which is water. And now water will start flowing in as we start our simulation. Click on close. Here select contour 1 and set the animation view to front. Click on preview. Now you will be able to see the animation with this view. Click on OK. Next double click on run calculation. Here I will specify time step size of 0.01 second. And we will run our simulation just for one second. When you run the simulation in your own machine, you can increase the number of time steps accordingly. So to simulate for one second, I am entering number of time steps as 100. So the total time of simulation is calculated by multiplying these two numbers. So 100 into 0 0.01 will give us 1. So the simulation will run for total 1 seconds. You can increase the number of time steps if you want to run for more seconds. Click on calculate. You can see that the residual graph is being printed on the screen. And if you go to this window of contour, you can see that the water has started flowing in through the inlet. So as the calculation gets completed, you will be able to see the animation simultaneously. Let's wait a bit until the water fills in the bottle.
Now you can see that the simulation has been completed for physical time of 1 second. Click on OK for calculation complete message. Now I will show you how you can view this animation. So we can view the playback of this animation by double clicking on animations. Here select the playback option and click on setup. Now to play the animation simply click on this play button and you will be able to see how the water is getting filled inside the bottle but this simulation is just for one second. So I would recommend you to run the simulation for more seconds and see how the bottle fills up. If you want to save this animation, go to the write record format and select the video file as your format. And when you click on the write option, it will save the animation file for this simulation. And you can see the final animation file that I have created by saving it using the write option. Hope you have liked this video. So this is how we can simulate the filling of water bottle by using the multi-phase model inside ANSYS Fluent. I hope you find this video helpful. If this video has helped you, if this video has helped you, then you can help me in return by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video with your friends and subscribing to my channel. We will meet again in a new video with a new simulation. Goodbye till then.